Hello YouTube, I'm Evermore. I want to do, show you a tutorial today on how to route audio into Spotify um, for OBS or any other app actually, since this comes up a lot on Reddit. Um, and it just confuses a lot of people. And this is a simple answer that I, I don't know, YouTube has a lot of videos, but I want to make this really easy for everyone. This really is probably the simplest way to do this. And it makes sense. So on my computer screen, um, this is a big screen, so I can fit all this on here. You see my OBS is right here. You see uh, a second OBS, which we're going to use. And you see Audio Router, which I already have downloaded. You can acquire Audio Router on GitHub, which I'll link below. So if you can't make it out, I will have the link here. It's just a small download, runs without installation. And then I have Spotify open. And just for the case of it, we have some royalty-free music on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out over here in Spotify. So when you're setting up your Spotify, you're going to make a channel for uh, whatever it is that you're going to, say you're using Discord or Spotify, to play in here so you can adjust the volume. Say you're playing it before stream, during stream, on break of stream, after stream, whatever the case may be. You can have independent control of it. So maybe you want it loud for you, but you want it quiet for your listeners or vice versa. Or if you just want to mute something for you completely, but your listeners still want to listen to music, you can do that too. So in Spotify over here, let's go ahead and we're going to add... Uh, an audio output, and we'll just name it Spotify for the sake of it because that's what we're doing today. And in this list, um, we're going to choose, uh, in my case, a virtual audio cable. Now, I've already had gone ahead and installed these. I can provide the link as well. Um, you go to the website where you get virtual audio cable. You also get voice meter banana, which we're not using today. I want to say that right now. No banana. This is not banana. <laughs> this is easier. This is going to be so easy compared to that. So once you have that installed, it's going to give you two virtual audio cables you can use, virtual audio cable A and B. We're going to choose A. So on this, click on A, and now in Spotify, you have a controllable volume bar that you can not only control, you can add filters. This is also going to be independent of the one that I'm going to generate with Audio Router. So let's go to Audio Router up here, and we're going to open this up. Now in here, you see that I have all the programs on Windows that are running. All their independent volume controls. So we're going to use Spotify. See, um, so with this, you can see that uh, you got your normal control goes in and out. Well, we're going to click this little arrow right here, and we're going to hit duplicate, and we're going to choose that we want it to play through Audio Cable A. Now you can play through Audio Cable B if you already use Audio Cable A. So just choose the which one, whatever one you have available, and click OK. And now you may have to play. Uh, music for it to recognize where to play to. So just go over to your player, hit play, and boom, it's switched to audio cable A now. So now you can see that it's playing on audio or uh, virtual audio cable A. So we can sit here and we can not only adjust the entire sound source for that, but you know whatever you're you're putting through it, and then Windows itself will have one too. So we now it put our first instance of uh, Spotify that we had open. We put that on to that virtual audio cable, but we also want to listen to it too. So go to it again and select duplicate. But this time, whatever your sound card is, whether it's a real tech or an ASUS or a Sound Blaster, mine is a Sound Blaster Z. I'm going to click that. That's my Windows Sound default, and I'm going to click it OK. And now you can hear the music came back because I'm playing it on Windows. So we're just going to turn it down on Windows. But now if you look over on Spotify, we've still got that music playing in the channel that we created that's using the route off of virtual audio cable A, and there we go. So now I can even go over here in my windows and I can go, I don't wanna hear this music, it's muted, but your stream over here can still play this and hear every bit of the music that you're playing through it. And it works for Discord as well. As you see, I have Discord open. Um, I believe it may or may not, We may. I think it'll work. Okay, so there's that. And... I think it might have to make noise. There might be a little bit of a trick to all this um, to get this to work. But like um, on Spotify, once you talk in it with your mic, it'll pop up, you route it, and it'll move around. Maybe this will confuse some people. Hopefully it doesn't. But this is easy. You just tell it to duplicate your sound source. You tell it where you want it to go. You give it a volume bar within OBS, and that's it. Now, it does not keep if you restart Windows or if you close the program. So each time you open this up, 
even like Windows has its own audio routing, but it's it's permanent. So if I tell Spotify that I want it to play through virtual audio cable A, I can do that. But now that's all it will do. I no longer can hear it in Windows because it's trying to play through this virtual cable. So Windows doesn't work for this like it used to before the creator's update came out. So now it tries to do what Audio Router does. It tries to do what Voice Meter Banana does, but it doesn't really work with the two. So you can use Audio Router, which is easy. I'd say this is a, a scale of one to 10. This is a hardness level of two. Voice, me, uh, voice Meter Banana would be like a, uh, a 15 on the hardness you know, scale. So try this, do this. This is easy. You can do it for any sound source you have, whether you're doing Ozio, your Elgato, whatever it is, will pop up an audio router and you can choose to route that. The only downside is, is that you do have to open it up each time you start your computer or that you've closed audio router, you will have to tell it where to route to and what to get. But if you have that set up in OBS, you won't have to tell it to, to route to other things. It should keep it. So as long as you tell audio router uh, to route to those things again, it should just you know pick it up and work. But it's a simple fix. It's not a permanent fix, but it does work really well. So there you go, internet. That's an easy way to use uh, audio router to route all your stuff through OBS and to make your streams a lot more happy.